if the Gita is there, focus only on Gita. All else is just stories. Gita is not a story. Gita is a philosophical document of the highest order. It is not storytelling. Ankita, do you know where the word responsibility comes from? Do you know the meaning of that word? Responsibility comes from response plus ability. Write down. Write down. We are off to exploring something very important. First thing, responsibility means response plus ability. The ability to respond. The ability to respond. Remember, responsibility is not duty. It is the ability to respond. Now let's understand the, react, the difference between responding and reacting. So make a column. Response, reaction. Divide the length into two columns. Response and reaction. Response comes out of the alive present. First point. Response comes out of the alive present. Reaction comes out Reaction comes out from the dead conditioning and training of the past. Dead conditioning and training of the past. Response involves love. Second point. Response involves love. Reaction involves duties configurations habits third point response leads to universal welfare response leads to universal welfare even if it appears a little bitter in the beginning even if it appears a little bitter in the beginning reaction leads to universal suffering even it even if it appears nice in the beginning Reaction leads to universal suffering even if it appears a little nice in the beginning. Response, next point, response is not easily understood by most people. Response is not easily understood by most people. Reaction, the other column, reaction has become our way of living. Reaction has become our way of living. Response is new and unpredictable. Response 
is new and unpredictable reaction is always determined rather predetermined from the past reaction is predetermined and is from the past reaction is predetermined and is from the past right now you tell me that the thing that you have been thinking of as responsibility is it really responsibility or just a reaction because responsibility is never fixed if somebody is telling you that it is responsibility to do this then he is talking of reaction and conditioning not responsibility responsibility means there is nothing on my mind except an inherent ability to respond when the situation comes the ability not conditioning responsibility are you getting it i have the ability to face any situation when it comes when the situation comes i'll have the right response it's not that i have been trained in advance that this is your responsibility towards parents towards society towards class towards nation no i have not been trained in advance i know i know in my understanding and when the situation will come i will respond and remember that response will be unpredictable that will not be a habitual response in reaction you know that when potassium will meet water you will get only potassium hydroxide it is well said predetermined fixed in response you do not know in response you know your friend comes to us you you call somebody your friend your friend comes to you and says let's go out for a walk day one it may be your responsibility to say no we will not go out for a walk day two it may be a responsibility to say yes 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 i was waiting for you let's go out for a walk because responsibility is unpredictable it depends totally on the situation reaction never depends on the situation today tomorrow koh will be formed 1000 years back when potassium met water what was formed 1000 years later when potassium will meet water what will be formed india koh us koh earth koh mars koh give the same condition of temperature and pressure everything is same predetermined nothing fresh so boring like our duties which we are calling by the name of responsibility is love a duty responsibility is love and duty involves no love where there is love there is no question of duty when you give something to your friend do you give it as a duty or do you give it because you love if you are doing it out of a duty please stop doing it you are humiliating the other person what we have been taught as responsibility is nothing but a bad and vulgar dose of duties and remember love is not a duty now you should ask me sir why was this injustice done to me sir why have i been conditioned to talk of responsibilities in such an abusive way let me ask you a few question who told you that you have such and such responsibility towards society who told you who told you were you born with this did you when you were born was this the first word you said i have been i have taken birth to be responsible towards society was this what you said when you were born who taught you to be responsible towards the society the society taught you do you see the trap now society is telling you you have this duty towards me society who else will tell you who else has that vested self interest you see my batchmates my friends have long become parents long become parents and i 
know them and I know what kind of people they are, most of them. They come to visit sometimes, they would bring their kid along. So I would meet the kids and I would say something to him. And he will say, ah, I'll believe when mama says this. So one of those kids I probed, he said, come here, come here. She came to me. I said, uh, why, why will you listen only when mama will tell you this? No, ma devi hoti hai. So I called mama, I said, come here. You taught her this, that parents are gods. Usually the people whom I know, they are honest towards me. Say, they said, yes. So why are you doing this injustice? You know yourself. You know what kind of a god you are. Why are you corrupting the mind of your daughter by telling her that you are a god? Who is telling the kids that parents are gods? The parents only. Don't you see the vested self-interest? Society is telling you, society is god. Parents are telling you, parents are god. Education is telling you, teachers are god. What else will they tell? There is a deep selfishness here. What else will they tell? Religions are telling you, you have this duty towards religion. What else will they tell? What else can they tell? Don't you see how you are being trapped? Go to the temple. The priest will tell you, you know, you have all these duties. And that duty involves donating some money to the temple every day. What else will the priest tell? Don't you see the trap? Don't you see you are being made a victim? Don't you see that? How can you be so ignorant? How can you be caught in the name of responsibility? There are these beggars on the crossings. And you know, one day I heard one of them was saying, Bita garibo ko daan karna farz hai. Responsibility, farz. Duty. Who was saying this to me? Who is the garib at that moment? What does he want? To whom does the daan go? Don't you see the trap? How can you allow all this to dominate your mind? How can you allow all this? Love is something else. Let there be a loving relationship between you and society, between you and your friend, between you and your parents. But we don't have love, we have duties. If you really love your parents, there is no question of duties. You get up in the morning, you make tea for your mother. Do you do it out of love or out of duty? If you do it out of duty, kindly don't make that tea. That tea is poison. But if you do it out of love, then that tea is ambrosia. That tea will really help your mother. Ask yourself, if I am cooking for my mother, is it my duty or my love? Ask. If it is love, wonderful. If it is a duty, stop. Don't abuse the word responsibility. Responsibility is a beautiful word. Getting it?